بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم now the next thing we'll try to understand the enterprise lands now when we talk about enterprise land like in the previous section we have discussed the small office home office lands so probably uh, in enterprise land also the the devices used it will be same but again you have a dedicated switch so we don't use integrated so we have dedicated switch to provide a lan connection and maybe you may have three to four switches or more than that depending upon the size of the network because here we are connecting hundreds of devices so the again we we need a dedicated router to provide the wan connection and we may have a dedicated access points in each and every floor so basically the devices used will be the same so we may not use an integrated uh, device which has all combined but we will be using a dedicated devices the same thing uh, list here as well so the only thing is it is in a larger scale that's it so here again we'll be using a lan switches which provides uh, wiring closest to the uh, to the to that particular floor like let's say we got three different floors first floor second floor and third floor and i got these devices to be connected here and these devices will be connected to the nearest uh, nearest switch or nearest wiring so basically the electricians uh, will install the ethernet cabling um, generally so we don't really do that at the time of you know construction so basically depending upon uh, how you require the network you will have this wiring which is done by the electricians so you'll have one end on your desk towards the desk and probably the other end goes to the rack room where you will be placing all your switches and where you'll be providing all the centralized connections so so electricians will be doing this uh, installing cabling from closest uh where, where the device needs the lan okay so some of the enterprises uh, of course almost all the enterprises i can say they also have a wireless lan in the same space because in the same space you also will be using some your smart devices the laptops and you want these devices to be connected without a wire and also you should be able to roam from one place to another place and you still uh, work and you still connected to the network so again you do have a dedicated access points installed in each and every floor which provides a connection so even if you are moving from one floor to another floor also you have a network connection will be will be there because automatically it will uh, connect to the nearest access point whichever is having a strongest signal now again in each floor as i said ethernet switch and the wireless access point will be installed and in order to communicate between the floors now now here we got a users here connected and these are all connected to this centralized switch and we got the users in the in the pre, in the next floor also they are connecting to the nearest uh, switch and between switch to switch we do have a uh, connection again because in each floor the switch interconnects to the centralized switch so generally we call this as centralized distribution switch so typically it will be like this you got each and every floor let's say and these all floors this connect to the centralized distribution switch so this is like a distribution level switch or a centralized switch from where you can connect or you may have a direct connection between them so maybe that is also possible or maybe you connect them to the centralized distribution switch and this makes up a lan complete as i said this is your lan where you might be connecting hundreds of devices in the in the building and this all from from the distribution switch or from any one of the switch it can be from the distribution switch or to the any one of the switch again you have a connection to the router here so again the connection to the router will be a lan connection and the same ethernet cable is used to connect from switch to router and this router is responsible for uh, two things either it connects to the remote branch uh, we call it as a wan connection so we'll be discussing more on this in the wan section or in the routing sections and also it it will also connect to the internet so generally it will connect to both uh, this is also called as wan connection the difference is this is your private wan where you are connecting to your own company network on a remote site and this is your public wan where you are connecting to the internet okay so the router is going to connect the lan and the wan provide lan and wan connection 
and it connects to the it, it uses the same ethernet cable which we use for connecting between switch to pc the same cable is used to connect between a router and the switch